Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, March 17th, and welcome to today's market report. Uh, it's a video update from Squared Financial to supplement our daily morning report published on our website and also on fxstreet.com. I am Ronnie, and here are the top cues that will move markets today. The Fed meeting, FOMC, wraps up this afternoon with a statement followed by Fed Chair Jerome Powell's press conference. Now, we aren't expecting any uh, rate moves in spite of rising bond yields that some investors might worry, uh, you know, are the first signs of inflation. Recently, we saw the yields on the U.S. 10-year government bond rise above 1.63%. That's the highest level in 13 months. So an increase in yields will tend to forewarn an increase in interest rates. And that's something the Fed is not planning on doing until late 2023 or even 2024. Last month, Jerome Powell did caution about inflationary pressures. However, he said that they, they won't last long enough or uh, be big enough to justify increasing rates. Okay, so equities have, of course, enjoyed a bullish run recently, uh, maybe a nudge higher in, in, in yields uh, today might encourage traders to take some profits. So we are, we are expecting a slide or a, a slight correction in stocks for today. Uh, also important to note that today's Fed decision comes ahead of other central bank meetings later this week with the Bank of England uh, announcing its policy tomorrow, Thursday, and the Bank of Japan on Friday. But let's go back to the US equities. I want to show you the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart for today. So if we look at the chart here, we notice that uh, yesterday's slide uh, here to the 50 moving average and then the index rebounded from it and tested the all time fresh record highs around 33,000, a little less than 33,000. However, so this morning, the futures have been consolidating here. So slightly below the 50, the 50 moving average, sorry, and that's a bearish signal. So we are expecting a decline from it from a technical perspective. So technical indicators are uh, favoring slight decline, maybe to the 200 period moving average, the yellow line right here. Or if this crosses the yellow line or the 200 moving average, we might see declines further to the 32,100 support level right here. Uh, from there, I think uh, 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 buyers will be uh, taking advantage of uh, by the dip scenario and uh, we might bounce back up. However, this is for short-term traders only. Remember, this is an hourly time frame, so an hourly chart for short-term trading. Okay, so slight declines expected ahead of the FOMC today. That's it for today. Uh, have a great trading day ahead.